feel like I just needed to breathe for a second. And I invite you to do the same. Just take a moment to pause and breathe. Coming back to the breath in moments where you feel out of body, anxious, anything that takes you out of the present moment is such a powerful practice. I feel like breathing is something we just do on autopilot. We don't take a moment to really give gratitude for the breath, right? The breath is what sustains life. The breath is what keeps us alive. Hello, beautiful beings. I am so grateful to be here with you all today and once again, sharing space in this virtual realm. A lot has happened over the last two months since I last uploaded a video, which is so crazy to me. Y'all, I cannot believe it's been two whole months. What is time even? Because I feel like two months ago was literally last week. Like, I don't get it. There's a glitch in the matrix. Alas, here we are. And I'm so thankful to be sharing space with you all today. So before we get into today's video, which is just going to be like a day in the life kind of video, I wanted to ease my way back into the YouTube space and just be intentional about the content that I'm putting out. I'm a firm believer in doing things with intention only and if I feel like I'm not in a good space where I can share parts of my life with you or just inspire or motivate or teach, then I feel like it's not worth it because I don't want to show up here on this platform or any way in life in a way that doesn't honor where I'm at currently and kind of showing up half-assed. These last few weeks have been full of deep revelations that have required me to be very still. And in that stillness, I've been able to uncover some deeper truths about myself, about myself in relation with other people, how I want to show up in the world. And I just feel like it has been a period of stillness and quiet and I think that is so important especially in our culture where we're taught to constantly do constantly go and it's just unrealistic you know humans are no separate from nature and nature goes through a period of hibernation of shedding release transformation and I think that Truthfully, we are alike in that sense where we have seasons where we might be, you know, full speed, growth, transformation, this very heightened yang energy of doing and going, but this has not been that season for me and I'm okay with that. I have just been trying to make space for my inner wisdom to be heard and be very, very honest with myself so that I can show up in honesty and authenticity and in my full power with the world, not just the people in my life, but everyone I interact with and that truth that I carry, I feel like permeates and ripples throughout everything, every interaction I have, everything that I do. I just wanted to share that because if you feel like you're also in a space where you just don't have the creative energy to do anything right now, there's nothing wrong with you. You're not a failure. I think if anything, you are much more advanced you realize the value in being quiet being intentional about your energy and not being distracted by everything else that's going on in the world i think one of the biggest revolutions during times like this where the energy of the collective and of the world seems so chaotic seems so heightened and intense is reclaiming your power by resting by getting clear about what it is you want to be doing with your time with your energy the relationships that you want to cultivate as we step into airy season this is the season of new growth of inspiration and more of that yang energy as i said earlier you can feel the energy of rebirth in the air and it's just such a beautiful time so i think that this video is very timely because i'm in a much better space now where i can share from a space that actually feels good and that feels like okay i can pour into others because i feel whole 
I feel full and that is such a beautiful place to give and to serve and to share. I just wanted to give a little life update and kind of explain why I've been a little MIA on here. Also recently I realized that anytime I go away for a trip like right before I feel this huge creative block and it's almost like spirit is asking me to like drop back into myself without the distractions of the outer world and make the space for that breakthrough that's about to happen i just feel like i'm on the verge of a new version of myself being birthed it's this pattern that i realized i have anytime i go away to a place that i have not been to yet it's like my soul is about to crack open in a way that only traveling can do to me and that just makes me so excited and it makes me really faithful and hopeful about what's to come even though the horizon feels very clouded right now like I don't have a clear vision of what that is but at the same time I'm fully faithful that whatever it is I'm meant to be doing in this chapter of my life is going to reveal itself during the next few weeks and that just makes me really excited so needless to say the next video is going to be a travel vlog I'm not announcing yet where it is I'm gonna be traveling that's just gonna be a little secret until I share this vacation feels extra extra special because I'll be celebrating my anniversary with my lover and it just feels like a celebration of our love of life in general and i feel so blessed to be on this journey with him this relationship has inspired me to dig into the deepest depths and shadows of myself and i'm so grateful for that because he truly is my mirror whether it's platonic romantic family, friends, it doesn't really matter. All sorts of relationships hold up a mirror to you and mirror back the ways that you still haven't fully healed from. Maybe there were things in your subconscious that you simply weren't aware of that now you are because of this relation and I feel like it's such an honor to do that for someone and for someone to also be that person for you i'm grateful for it all you know during the last few weeks i've definitely felt the call and like that little nudge to do more conversational topics on here things that i find interesting and can talk about for hours or maybe things that you guys find interesting and just kind of want to unpack together I think that would be a really cool idea so if you have any suggestions any ideas definitely drop it in the comment box below the fact that y'all even clicked on this video and made it a point to check in with me just means the world so thank you so so much i truly am grateful for this expanding growing community without further ado let's get into a day in the life and be sure to like comment and subscribe if you feel called to do so Take scrunchy just like that. Push it back. Normally, if I have errands to do, I will just go out like this because that's my business. I actually think I might go to Whole Foods, you know, 
since we're here, since we're at it already, I might as well. Whole Foods haul coming in three, two. A lot more nutrient dense than your average pasta. Bananas. I like to use these for smoothie bases and freeze them up once they get really, really ripe. My favorite poppy flavor is this orange one. It reminds me a lot of Fanta. Honestly, before poppy, I would never drink anything carbonated, but this is just so, so delicious. It contains apple cider vinegar, so it's actually really good for your gut. Moving on to produce, I have my cilantro. I like to stick this in water, so it actually preserves the freshness and the longevity this beautiful gorgeous bunch of kale this is just curly green kale um, and I like to use this for salads massage it with some olive oil salt pepper lemon juice so delicious red chard look how gorgeous and beautiful that color is I like to saute this in garlic a little bit of coconut oil you would be so surprised how delicious you can actually make greens it doesn't have to be boring or bland or tasteless like you could really hook up some greens with a little bit of garlic some onion olive oil salt pepper paprika cherry tomatoes avocados a bag of carrots radishes organic sprouts blueberries raspberries almond milk peanut butter. Always check the ingredient list. This has one ingredient only. Last but not least, Himalayan pink salt. Something really easy I like to do to get in a boost of minerals is just add a little bit of pink salt to my water and a little bit of lime or lemon juice. Not only are you going to get your minerals, but you're also getting tons of hydration that your body's actually going to absorb. So. Como fedas, rapidito, pongo de 
eso si te atreves Y si caigo por la noche será de más, será de más.